This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 16, and verse 17. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekak Wadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity, and salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect. Believing on the words of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And we are truly at the beginning of sorrows. All hell is set to break loose. You know, you have this uh, upcoming purge. All right. In the state of Illinois, it's about to take place when the, when the first of the year comes around. All right. So again, we are in the same mindset as Ezra. All right. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? Right? The purge. The purge. The purge is here. We. Now, you remember what they was talking about that was going to happen starting January in Chicago, right? It looks like it's going to be the same thing with Ohio as well. Dayton, Ohio, to be specific. Now, it may seem like it's isolated and that it's only in Chicago or it's only happening in Ohio. This is something that they will implement everywhere. Things will happen on, on January 1st. The city will shut down. Mm -hmm. Our employees, including police, fire, EMS, sanitation, public works, and everybody else, water, will not get paid. Mm. There will be no trash pickup. There will be no snow removal. Any water or infrastructure emergencies will go unaddressed. And you all know how hard our water folks work. Mm. The airport will shut down. Mm. The Dayton Municipal Court, uh, court and Clerk Courts will close, preventing anyone in the county from posting bail, being released from jail, what? filing restraining or protection orders, or having their driving privileges reinstated. Dang. I see our Dayton Municipal Court, court is here to be a victim of this. Uh, police, fire, and EMS services will not be available. This could and will result in serious injuries and deaths, oh, and it's pointless and irresponsible. Wow. There's no time to waste. Damn. Dayton's mayor called today a dark day for the city. Residents and city employees now face the real possibility of losing every service they have. I'm James Brown. I'm Gabrielle and James right now, this Brown. is because city commissioners failed to pass next year's budget last night. Without a budget, look at what the mayor says will happen January 1st. Dayton will not be able to pay city workers. That means no police on the streets, no firefighters to go to emergencies. No trash pickup and no snow removal. And the Dayton International Airport would shut down and Dayton Municipal Court would close, meaning nobody could post bond and people could not get things like restraining orders. Now here is how the city got to this point. It said it worked on this budget for 11 months. Yeah, and then last night, when commissioners were ready to vote on the plan, Commissioners Daryl Fairchild and Shanice Turner Sloss did not vote. The budget mm -hmm. plan needed four votes to pass. It's certainly the need. Now, other commissioners, they said they were blindsided by this. Yeah, right. This is all the it's hard to believe there could be no police, fire, or EMS. That's why Gabby and James, hard to think that you'd be experiencing a fire. Can't get that boy. Nobody here at the city of Dayton Fire Station number 11 to help you out. The head of the local firefighter union said he had a positive conversation today with the city manager, but no word yet on when a budget will be approved. We all know what's going on. Budget problems. And they've never had this happen. This is the first time it's ever happened in history. Right during the currency change. Right during the collapse of the system. We have to get prepared. Because, oh my gosh. And if you're not prepared spiritually, by way of your mind, when these things come to pass, you're going to fall apart. All right? Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish 
are sent as scourges for a member. So when these things come to pass, because they will come to pass. Why? Because the Lord said it. It's for you to consider. All right. These are scourges for a member. It says, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So you believe things like uh, Mother Nature <clears throat> or Esau's harp system. Hey, it all goes back to your high by shot, man. All right. You believe that um, that Esau is the one in control. No. The Lord is the one in control. He's the one bringing the plagues. He's the one bringing the tribulation and anguish. All right, and these things going to intensify. It says, Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion. Right. Those things are growing. Evils are growing upon the earth. All right? And it's just going to intensify. Why? Because this kingdom has to be put down for the kingdom of heaven to be established. This is Jeremiah chapter 30. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Chapter 30 and verse 5. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Yeah, there's no way in here you could think this peace is coming to this place, man. All the calamities that the Lord has sent out against this place, right? It says, As ye now and see, whether a man do travail with child, wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Right. People are going to be fucking scared. Men, if you know the men are holding themselves, all right, freaking out mentally, not knowing which way to turn, What? how much more are you women? Okay? Alas, for that day is great, <clears throat> so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who is that he, the elect? All right? The elect is going to be saved out of those certain perils and plagues. All right? The elect is going to be preserved. Okay? Again, these things are set, and they're going to come to pass. All right? You see the header? Time of the end. All right? Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince that standeth for the children of thy people. See, it's going to get so bad that the Lord is going to have to send Michael to stand up for us, man. All right? And there shall be a time of trouble. What trouble? Jacob's trouble. Such as was since, excuse me, such as was since such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Yeah, written in, written in Yahweh Shai, basically, man. The ones who were given Yahweh Shai from the beginning. Those are the ones that are destined for salvation. All right? But again, this shit's going to get bad, man. We can't convey unto you more how bad shit really is going to get. All right? The Lord says he's going to set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. Guess what? Two-thirds of our people are considered Egyptians, man. Why? Because they uphold the customs of this wicked-ass kingdom, America, Babylon, the Great. All right? Which is a, a, a amalgamation of all these certain religions, man. All right? That's why you see people celebrating Saturnella and Tammuz. All right? <clears throat> That's why they're doing these abominable works because they're upholding the things of America, man. Okay? Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians 
and they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Yeah, it's going to be great peril, great strife. All right. Great sedition. All right. Everything is going to be here is going to be great. All right. Why? Because this is Babylon the Great. All right. And Lord has great judgment prepared for this place. This is 2 <clears throat> Timothy chapter 3 <clears throat> and verse 1. He said the title of the hell, the difficult times will come. See, it's a guarantee. All right. 2 Timothy 3 and 1. Know this also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Perilous, dangerous, hard to deal with, right? It says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, <clears throat> excuse me, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, right? You see all those things occur, right? The, the mother is killing the son or the son is killing the mother or the father, all right? The daughter is killing the mother or the dad, vice versa, okay? Hey, even in this truth, you got guys unthankful, all right, and disobedient to their parents, all right? The spiritual fathers, it says without natural affection. See, those certain uh, people uh, seen the story the other day, a fucking IG slash OnlyFans model was starving out of five months, man. That's without natural affection. All right. And, and it is plethora of, of, of uh, stories uh, going out, you know, that, that speaks to that point. It says without natural affection, truth breakers false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, right? You despise your how about shot with all right? Because that's what we present to you. That's what you despise, all right? Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high. See that? So you rather dwell in your wickedness all right, wallowing sin instead of coming back and being retooled and being cleaned up by the spirit and power of your high by shower shy. All right. You rather be uh to have pleasures of this world, all right, than than to mourn and, and suffer with your people, man. But guess what? That's a penalty, man. You wanna be caught up in that certain destruction. All right. This is second Ezra. Chapter 15 and verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Yeah, that word woe means destruction, right? Death. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Now you go into that word dwell, it literally means, you know, uh, your habitation, your abode. All right. I think one of the definitions in there of similar words is where you hang your hat. All right, where well, you rest, where well, you resting in the world, which is ran by Esau. But well, the Lord says, Woe to you for their destruction, excuse me, for the sword and their destruction draw off now. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And what we've seen in that video, all right, is just a small sampling of what's coming to the world. All right. Hey, that purge is gonna is gonna cause great distress. All right. And, and it's gonna uh, implement martial law because you know the government, all right, how Esau does things is order out of chaos. All right. He creates the chaos so he can bring the order. All right. And this time it's going to be by the way of those uh, FEMA camps, man, and martial law. 
Okay. It says a man, see, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. See, lockdowns, all right, people being transported to FEMA camps, okay? It says, for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled and the houses destroyed and men shall be afraid. See, every man holding his loin. Like a woman in travail with child. See, you people are not going to have any hope. You're going to be really caught out there. All right? It says, verse 19, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. What's the modern day sword? The gun. All right? And you have uh, certain people, all right, with machetes. All right? Well, guess what? All those things are going to be used to destroy, all right, and, and take your resources. It says, and spoil their goods, see, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. That's what's headed. And we just here to warn you, all right, these certain videos that brothers do, all right, and elders and apostles, all right, it's just to warn you, all right, to get the blood off our hands. Because if we don't warn you, then the Lord is going to require that of us. Matthew chapter 24. I'm going to start at verse 3. Let's see the disciples was inquiring when the kingdom of heaven would be established upon earth again. All right. And Yahweh Shah, our Lord Yahweh Shah, broke it down to him. Okay. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? You go into that word world in this particular scripture, it's aeon, all right, which deals with what? A period of time, all right? Esau's rulership, okay? But I want to highlight something. They came to him privately. All right, well, this, this thing is done again. All right, everybody's not privy to this information. So it's being privately disseminated among the saints. All right. And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying that I am anointed and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear wars. And rumors of wars, see that she be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, see? For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. Yeah, we're seeing all these things occur, all right? All these are the beginning of sorrow, see? So we just at the beginning. We got to hold fast to what we have. Pray that the Lord have mercy on us and keep us in the time we're approaching. All right? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, has been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, coming to you with another lesson. Till the next time, I say Shalom.